I'm Pace Taylor, I'm from Portland, Oregon, and I was on the Don Bacardi Fellowship. My artistic practice is working with uh, soft pastel and pencil on paper, large scale figurative drawings. Um, as a non-binary person, my work is, has a lot of figures in it that I don't like to gender, and so people can come to them and meet them wherever they're at in their gender journey. Um, the work is very queer, intimate, um, trying to figure out how to, investigating how people connect with each other. Um, much of my life I've felt like an observer or a witness of interactions between other people and not fully understanding how to um, interject myself in those situations. Um, so I definitely use that experience in my work a lot and just trying to not be a voyeur but a witness to these experiences and understand them better. I applied to the Don Bacardi Fellowship because I was looking for a challenge at the time to being in Portland, Oregon. It's a pretty small space, even though it has a pretty incredible DIY and arts community there. Um, that's really supportive as well, but it's not an art hub like London is. And so the opportunity to do pure observational drawing for so many hours every week was something I've never done before. Um, that and also the opportunity to be surrounded by other artists, like the, the, um, all the students on the drawing year, sharing studio space here, that kind of exchange of ideas, because I've been doing full-time art for, I think, about five years now, and a lot of it is such a solitary endeavor. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to engage with people, uh, have that exchange of ideas and energy, um, and which happened, which was amazing. I think the way that my practice developed over the term was again touching on being vulnerable um, and allowing myself to experiment a little bit more with the work and not be so particular about it. Because again, when you're about five years into a full-time art practice, and I think there are certain expectations on an artist, especially when they have any kind of commercial success. Um, so again, like having this residency time being able to turn that voice off. Like I don't have a gallerist telling me what I'm supposed to do. I don't have collectors like asking for a certain thing. Um, I was just able to be freer. The first advice I would give is keep applying even if you don't get in because I have applied multiple times um, and I got in last year. So um, keep applying. Um, also just be open to however it pans out. Um, show up to your classes because that's, I think, where some really exciting stuff in, happens um, when you put in the work. Because it's so rare that you get such focused time um, outside of an experience like this. So yeah, really engaging with it um, as much as possible.